Hi, my name is Nina. I'm from Crystal Sun Healing, and I'm a crystal healer. And this week we're going to do the video on epidote. So I have some wonderful epidote right here. So this beautiful green mineral that you see sandwiched in between all of this white matrix is epidote. It comes from the Greek word epidosis, also known as pistocyte. This is also epidote, but epidote inside quartz. So when epidote is inside quartz, is known as dream quartz. Oops. So, where does epidote come from, or where is it most popular? So epidote is, it comes from the U.S., Mexico, Russia, Australia, Bulgaria, France, Norway, Pakistan, Mozambique, and South Africa. So basically, a little bit all over the world. Um... It, the chakras it works on, and before I get into the chakras real quick, because I had someone fuss at me at th about this in a previous video. So when I talk about the chakras, I am talking about the primary chakras, and then occasionally I will talk about the secondary chakras. So these crystals are not exclusive to working on just one chakra, but they do have a primary chakra that they tend to work on. And if they attend, if they affect the other chakras, those are secondary and tertiary chakras that they work on and sometimes you work on opposite chakras to treat other chakras to create balance in the body but that will be for another video and we talk about chakras and what they are and what they're good for and what they do um epidote works on the heart it works on all the chakras but primarily the heart and it also works on the sacral chakra and the solar plexus its energy can be very projective, and the zodiac that it resonates to the most is Gemini and Virgo. Its planet, it's governed by the planet Earth, and its elements are Earth and Water. So a little bit about Epidote. So Epidote is a stone of transformation. It's a change catalyst. It helps speed up things and accelerate uh, manifestation. It's good for creating balance um, in the sense of it helps with the adrenal glands and the thyroid gland. Adrenals are down here, thyroid's up here. Um, and it can be used in a crystal elixir for helping one to manage one's weight. Um, it can help you to release negativity. It's all about raising vibrations. It's good for depression. It really just helps one to dissolve your blocks in life. Um, if you do any kind of programming, like DNA programming and healing work, or if you're just programming your crystal, Epidote is a great crystal to help you to really help lock in with that programming. It help, it assists with wound healing, uh, changing some of like, well, it assists with wound healing and it helps with everything relationship wise. It helps you to have better relationships, better communications within your relationships. It helps heal relationships. It helps you to attract loving, harmonious, happy relationships. It's all about abundance and prosperity. It helps to raise self-awareness and self-acceptance and self-identity. It allows you to build courage and um, let go of resistance. Uh, if you do any kind of dream work, which I know I have a lot of DreamWork fans. If you do any kind of DreamWork, especially this one right here, this is known as the Dream Quartz, this is good for going into the dream state and um, doing any kind of dream work, uh, lucid dreaming, and dream recall. Uh, let's see. In crystal healing, it's good for supporting the immune system and the nervous system. And honestly, Epidote has so much to it that... That's all I'm going to share with you today. There's so much more. Um, I hope you like this video. Please like, share, comment below. Like my Facebook page, Crystal Sun Healing. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.